I'm leaving. Peter's giving you a ride home. Ooh. He should be here any minute, Walter. Evening, everyone. <laughs> Peter, what wonderful timing. <laughs> you got the keys to lock up? Yeah. yeah, no problem. All right, don't let him keep you here too late, okay? Thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five. Hey, Walter. You awake, Peter? Me too. I was, I was trying to lull myself to sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. I can hear you. Do you think you could do that in your head? Wasn't I? <laughs> I thought I was. Sorry. That's okay. Just try and keep it down, all right? One, two, thirty-three, three, seventy-seven, two, twenty-one, six, Hundred and ten. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Son, is that you? Yes, Walter, it's me. Just stop talking and close your eyes, okay? Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Let's Peter, no! Walter, we talked about sharing. That's not to eat. You've ruined it. It's an omelet. It's not an omelet. Oh! Ah! Walter, why is there an ear in the omelet? It was an experiment. It was a protein-rich incubator. It was growing. It was growing? <laughs> That's perfect. No, it's not perfect. You just ruined it. And you could have died had you eaten it. Hello. Really? You know... Maybe in the future you could do me a favor and just put up a sign warning me not to confuse your toxic yeah, playthings okay. with breakfast. Maybe you should get your own breakfast and not poach oh, mine. That is hardly the point. Remember yesterday when I nearly washed my face in a sink full of acid? Or three days ago you hooked Gene up to the solar panels and I nearly electrocuted myself. This is a lab. You're the one who should be careful. I trust you look both ways when you cross the street. Yeah, but the difference being that if I don't, I'm the only one who gets flattened. You, Walter, you live in a society with other people. Hey! What? That was Olivia. Okay. Here's the deal. Walter, the project that I've been working on was for you. For me? It reconstructs audio. I wanted you to be able to digitize some of those old water damage vinyl records you have. I know how much they mean to you. Thank you, son. You know... When he was five, he, he built me a, a popsicle napkin holder. Dreadful design, utterly useless. Thank you. But this, this is... <laughs> You're welcome. Walter, you've been awake for two straight days. You need to get some rest. Shapeshifters. I should have been more careful with my initial dissection. If I hadn't caused so much damage, it could have told us everything. But you couldn't possibly have known that. Still not stupid and inexcusable. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna figure it out just like we always do. Yeah. Okay. 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 I want you to get some rest, Dad. I'm gonna hit the sack. I'll be upstairs if you need me. Dad. Huh? You just called me Dad.
guess I did. I'm not from here, am I? You didn't just open up a hole to the other side. You went through. And you brought me back. That's why I was able to survive Newton's device. It's why I can't remember my childhood. You were dying. Peter. It's why my mother committed suicide. Isn't it? She knew, didn't she? And when I left, the guilt was too much for her to live with. The lie. Peter, you need to understand something. I understand, Walter. I understand everything now. Son, this... I am not your son. I'd like to be alone now. Good night, Walter. Peter, you are back now, aren't you? You're not leaving again. I'm trying to see this your way, Walter. I can't. But you did cross universes twice to save my life. So that's got to count for something, right? Thank you, Peter. My son. Have you seen him? Walton? Nobody has. He's become a reckless. Imagine coming over here to try and save your world, only to be stuck here when your world was destroyed. Not to mention having the same face as the most reviled man in the universe. I just wanted to say, at the trial, you spoke on my behalf. Walter, I'm the one who got in the machine. I'm the one who destroyed the other universe. The courts perceived that you did it to defend our universe, and so do I. This all began with me, my hubris. Walter. And I just wanted to say thank you. No matter who's at fault, you're my dad. <laughs>